I'm True with Guns America, and in this hand, I'm holding a SIG MCX. Sometimes it's called a Spear LT. It is a rifle that Tier 1 groups around the world uh, are using right now, uh, Special Forces groups. It's really a, a tried and true, badass uh, rifle. Now, in this hand, I'm holding its brand new red headed stepbrother. This is the MCX Regulator. SIG just announced it yesterday and I'm going to tell you it was not received well on Instagram or YouTube. There's a lot of comments saying that SIG is out of touch and this is the stupidest thing that they've seen. So I'm here to tell you that you guys that made those comments are uneducated, internet commandos, keyboard warriors, stupid idiots. Okay, I'm going to explain why and why this gun is actually really cool for certain people. It may not have been designed for you guys specifically, but if I'm wrong, you guys watch and tell me, leave me a good logical explanation for why I'm wrong, and uh, I'll admit it next time if I am, but I'm not. So stand by, I'm gonna tell you why this gun is actually cool. So this is called the MCX Regulator. Uh, it's made by Sig Sauer, it's made in New Hampshire. And the top end that you're looking at here, this entire portion is all just straight MCX. MCX uh, or, or Spear LT, whatever you wanna call it. There's two pins here, you could pop these off and it would go on an AR lower, it would go on another MCX. Uh, it's basically just an upper. The reason that Sig designed this thing is for the people behind enemy lines. If you guys remember in World War II, Allies dropped weapons behind enemy lines so the people back there had something to fight with. That's what this is today, guys. SIG came out with a marketing campaign aimed sort of at Yellowstone, ranchers, cowboys, farmers, when in all reality, I can tell you my family ranches, 50,000 acre ranch, horses and cows, no rancher is gonna go buy this for the ranch. This is not a ranch gun. In fact, the paint on this has IR signature reduction stuff in it. No rancher cares about that. No hog hunter cares about that. Uh, this is not a ranch gun. SIG didn't intend it to be, but here's a couple things that you need to understand. If you live behind enemy lines like California, New York, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Chicago, one of those places, you cannot have an AR-15. You can't have an MCX, but you can have one of these now. And that is the whole idea here is that you can actually own a legitimate rifle uh, that you've never been able to have before in this configuration. So let's talk about this configuration. So out of the box, it comes with a muzzle brake. For some reason, legislatively, muzzle brakes receive less scrutiny than flash hiders, so that's why it comes with a muzzle brake. If you're in a state that doesn't allow you to have a threaded barrel, all you have to do is pin and weld it, and then it is 50 state legal in its out of the box configuration. Comes with a detachable, uh, it comes with a completely detachable 10 round Magpul magazine here, 10 rounds. So you're not gonna fall under any of those uh, qualms. It is not so that it fits in a rifle scabbard. We have one, we'll show you that it fits, but that's not why. And you, this will obviously take larger magazines. But once again, designed to be able to be sold into those places where those folks cannot have those. Uh, really interesting design here on the safety. It's much like a 1911 safety. So if, this gun is clear, I checked it before we started, but you have to be cocked to work the safety. So this safety is fully ambi and it works up and down. So on up like a 1911, it's on safe. You push it down, it's on fire. The trigger has a nice shape to it and it is connected with a disconnector to a regular AR-15 hammer and style trigger that sits right here where it normally would. The stock on this is a Mossberg style. Uh, any stock that would fit a Mossberg shotgun, like a 590 or 500 will fit this. So this is a Magpul, flat darker stock, but any stock, so you could go wood if you wanted to, will fit this. Has a charging handle, much like you'd find on any other MCX or AR-15. Fully ambi controls. You can drop the bolt from either side, or let me pop this magazine. You can actually lock the bolt open from the right side, should you desire to do that. So there we go, bolt locked open from the right side, you can drop the bolt. You can also drop the magazine bolt from the left side, just like any other AR-15 style rifle. So no pistol grip, so that you don't run afoul of those laws. The stock is adjustable for length of pull and for cheek weld. The actual upper goes clear to here, so you could mount optics way out, and you get to mount them way lower because of the shape of the stock. So this throws up very naturally. Uh, 
in this configuration. I can see right through this with it mounted much lower than an AR-15. So I actually think this is really cool. Couple things I don't like about it. One of them is that I cannot reach the bolt release with my finger or the mag release from, from a grip here on the stock. So that's a downside, but hey guys, you're the ones that chose to live in California or New York or wherever the freak you live at. Otherwise, you've got a SIG MCX here, right? Uh, fully adjustable gas system. You can set it for suppressed, unsuppressed, or harsh conditions when things are dirty. Um, all the reliability of the SIG MCX that's made special forces love this thing there's a unique feature back here right here where you normally would have the trigger this is actually an arca rail so it'll go right on a tripod uh, and you can actually shoot this off of a tripod uh, with this built-in arc rail now obviously there's m lock at six o'clock like 7 30 three o'clock i don't know what that is 230 130 whatever and then you got pick rail all the way down the top you've got a medium profile barrel it's a one and seven twist this is available in 556 and 760 by 39 neither one of those are really rancher calibers this is not designed for cowboys and ranchers now if you guys remember remington lost a lawsuit a couple years ago a huge lawsuit the fact they settled it because they had marketed a uh, gun that was used in a shooting and had used sort of military style marketing. I think we're gonna see more and more manufacturers move away from that style of marketing and more into this, hey, we designed this for cowboys, for ranchers, for whoever. If you live in a state where you can own a real MCX, don't buy one of these. The real MCX is better. But if you live in a place like California, which has the second largest economy in the world, and believe it or not, there are still some good people in California, uh, you can now have one of these. So this is a big deal. SIG is not just looking out for you guys that left the comments. They're actually looking out for people in those states that can't have real guns. So this is a great option for home defense, for self-defense, for a civil war, for an, inv an invasion of our country, for emergency preparedness. Uh, this is an absolutely awesome option. Price points like $26.99, I believe is MAP, which is right in line with what an MCX costs. If the laws ever change, if you guys that are out there picking on SIG ever go run for office and go change the laws, then this will fit right up to a real lower, uh, all that kind of stuff. But obviously SIG is not trying to piss off those states uh, that have made bans. This is literally designed to get around those rules. Now, if you disagree with me and you still think this is stupid, uh, by all means, leave me a comment. Make sure it's not just saying stupid stuff, though. I want constructive criticism back. Otherwise, we're going to start shooting this. Watch for part two where we do accuracy testing and other things. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time here at Guns America.